guys, Coach Rob at Rob's Fight Club here in Horsham. We're going to teach you your first couple punches. This way when you come in, you kind of have an idea already of what you need to know. If you don't know your punches, you won't be able to hit your heavy bags, you won't be able to do shadow boxing and all that kind of stuff. So you got to know, there's really four basic punches that you need to know to get started. We're only going to start with the first two. I don't think you have to know them perfect. Don't even think you really even need to know them before you come into your class. But this could be you know, a little kind of preview for what you're going to learn or a good refresher for after your class just so you can practice a little bit when you get back home and you want to do a little shadow boxing or whatever because um, you're going to be pretty excited after you take that first class. Um, our whole goal here at Rob's Fight Club is to teach you how to do things so that you don't have to try to figure it out on your own or build bad habits. Um, when you come into a class we're not going to throw you in the ring. We're not going to try to beat you up. We're going to teach you how to do it. We're going to build you up. We're not going to beat you up. And um, you're going to constantly build more and more confidence. Uh, work at your own pace when you first come in. Everybody starts the same way. When they uh, start boxing, it's you know pretty much coming in, open-minded, and listening uh, to the coaches, right? That's what we're here for. We're here to teach you. So come in with an open mind, and um, you're going to learn a lot over those first few sessions. But your basic two punches are your jab, which we call the number one, and your cross, which we call number two. Now number systems can vary, but most people, most coaches will call the jab one and the cross two. And basically, if you're a, um, a right-handed fighter, you'll have your power hand in the back. Now you don't have to, some people might say put it in the front. It doesn't really matter, but I think of it this way. If you were to throw a baseball, you would throw it with that power hand from the back, or a softball, or a snowball, or I don't care what you throw, a football, then the same kind of principles apply to boxing. You wanna feel comfortable being able to use your power hand when you can. Um, so when you're throwing your first punch, now I'm assuming you already know your stance, um, and you're kind of in an athletic stance ready to go here. Your first punch is the jab. The jab is just twisting out, turning that palm down, and then rotating it back. The elbow comes from your ribs, it twists out, and it twists back in. So it's making that corkscrew kind of a motion. What it doesn't do is it doesn't come by, it doesn't start by bringing your elbow out, and it doesn't start by pulling your hand back. So if you wanna practice, when you get in the mirror, watch yourself in the mirror, make sure you're in a good stance and that your hands are up. Your back hand should be on your chin or by your chin and your cheek here. Your elbow should be in. You should be looking just inside of your front hand, um, but both hands should be up. Now, the, the mistakes that are made, a lot of times people hold their hands too high or they don't hold them high enough. If you, here's how you wanna think about it. If you bring your chin down, look through your eyebrows, then your elbows should sit at your ribs and still be able to protect your face. If your head is up, you're gonna to have to lift your arms, that opens all of this, and you're leaving your body wide open, right? So let's develop some good habits here from the beginning. So you got that back hand here, you're looking inside that left hand. Now when you corkscrew that out, that's getting a little bit more of that shoulder into that punch, it's gonna make it a little bit stronger, and your shoulder is going to protect your face. Again, notice the difference if my head's up or if my chin's down. Okay, so that's a really important point there. Um, also, you're gonna want that jab to be pretty quick. If you throw it out slow, they're gonna move, they're gonna time it, they're gonna counter you. So what you're gonna wanna do is have that jab start from here. Now the hand is in front of the elbow, you see that? I don't have my hand way back here when I'm far away. My hands are in closer when I'm in a really close um, inside fighting position, but when I'm farther away, I want to jab a little closer to my opponent. So now I don't have to jab quite as far. So here's my position, right hand here, left hand, I'm looking in just inside of the hand, my chin's down, my hand's gonna come out, turn over and come back. Now I'm gonna add the footwork in, a little step with my front foot to help me get my weight shifted forward and then bring it back. So if I start in a good stance, I can't really see my feet in this video, but um, I'll try to back up a little bit. Let's see. All right, so here you can kind of see my feet. I should have that back heel up just a little bit off the floor 
so I'm ready to move. So when I do throw my jab, I can get my weight shifted into that punch. I don't want to turn it all the way, because now I'm already turned and I'm going to have a hard time getting power when I throw my cross, because I've already turned my hips. So I want the foot to just kind of be um, with the heel up a little bit, but not already pre-turned, okay? And then now when I throw that jab, I can get a little step and push off of that back foot. And when you're punching, you want to make sure that you're breathing. So when you're throwing that punch out, you're making a uh, sound or sound, something like that's kind of like letting the air slowly out of a tire, right? Makes that like sound, like your tongue's going to the top of your mouth. This way you're gonna have enough air to throw multiple punches without going shh or and using all your air up at once. All right, so that's pretty much the basics of the jab. Timing the step, not pulling it back, not telegraphing it, not trying too hard to throw a big giant punch. It's only a jab. It's meant to be quick, snap the person's head back, and set up your cross. When you throw your cross, right, number two punch here comes from your face. It turns. Your elbow and your hip starts to turn together, and then you turn that hand over. Notice my left hand comes back to my face. So I don't go like this, I don't go like that, and I don't drop my other hand down when I throw it out. I'm in a good athletic position. I get set, I'm looking inside of this left hand. I have the opportunity, I turn it, I fire it out, aiming with these big knuckles right here. Wrists nice and flat, left hand goes to my face. I throw a quick right there and back to my face. So you don't have any time to really adjust to it. I'm slamming the door shut with my back hip. My left hip is the hinge. If you're a lefty, it's just opposite, okay? I'm turning the hips, I'm rotating to the ball of the foot on my back foot, and I'm coming straight out in a nice straight line with that back hand, or slightly from right to left. The cross is meant to kind of go over top of the, your opponent's jab. All right, so that's your jab and your cross, put them together. You got a step, you got a pivot. And if, if the, your opponent is in front of you, they haven't really moved that much, you can just throw the one, two, they're gonna be right there. Otherwise, you gotta work yourself in from the outside. That's a little harder. That's where we need to do some pivot steps with some, some uh, slide in that back foot and make sure that we're not off balance. All right, so your two main punches, your jab and your cross, you gotta know them. You're gonna learn them in here, so don't worry if you don't have them down perfect. We're gonna make sure they're perfect. That's what we're here for. We're not gonna just have you burn calories or you're gonna burn a ton of them. We're gonna make sure you're doing it the right way. And that's what makes Rob's Fight Club different than the place down the street. So come on in and try a free class. If you've already tried a free class, don't procrastinate, sign up, all right? You can't do this stuff if you don't sign up. You can't learn it all at home. You can watch a million videos like this one, but they'll only get you so good if you don't actually get in here and put some practical um, applications together with partners and all that. So you got to make sure you're doing things the right way so you're not developing those bad habits. That's your jab, your cross. You're going to learn your hook. You're going to learn your uppercut when you come in here. Um, those are your next two of the four main punches. All right, so it's Rob's Fight Club. Uh, Horsham, Pennsylvania. I'm Coach Rob, and we'll see you in class. Go to fightgetfit.com, sign up for a free trial class, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way, every time we put out a uh, new video, you can see it and, uh, and follow along. And it'll remind you, if you don't get in here right away, um, to get in here and, and uh, try it out, right? Because, you know, too many people sit on their hands or make excuses. It's really easy to make excuses not to do this because it's hard work. But I tell you what, it's a lot of fun as well. And you're going to become a different person once you get going. So uh, we'll see you in here um, soon, hopefully. But... Uh, Practice, practice in your mirror, and um, we'll see you in class. Take care.